How can you not like Thanksgiving? It's my favorite holiday. You sit around, eat your ass off, puke, eat again, watch football, <laughs> fall asleep. It's fucking beautiful. <laughs> Who knew the pilgrims liked football so much? <laughs> Love the pilgrims. They were the best. Hats and buckles and shoes. I love those little fuckers. <laughs> they had it going on too, didn't they? And they knew it. They're probably sitting around one day going, look at all this land and food and resources. We gotta have a party. Let's have a big bash and give thanks. Invite everybody. Tell the Indians to come on over. What the hell, once a year ain't gonna kill us. Tell Chief Chucklefuck to bring the whole tribe. <laughs> Everybody bring something. Tell the Indians to bring the yams and the corn. They're always good with that. And the pot. They always have good pot, those son of a bitches. Tell them to bring the yams and the corn and the pot. We'll take care of everything else. We'll get the turkey and the broccoli and the cauliflower and the biscuits and the gravy and the cranberries. And we'll eat our asses and get all fucked up on whiskey and pot and margaritas. <laughs> then we'll skin a pig and toss it around and tackle each other. <laughs> Maybe it'll turn into something. I don't know. Sounds like a pretty good plan to me. <laughs> Who knows, it might even become a tradition. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, a tradition was born. <laughs> Folks, something that pure, that beautiful is gonna become a tradition. It's too great of a thing. That's why they become traditions, they're beautiful things. You don't see lousy things become a tradition. You see guys walking around going, hey Phil, you know that sodomy party the other night was a blast, Jesus Christ. <laughs> We gotta do that again. <laughs> Bend over, pick up the soap, you son of a bitch. You got me on that one. <laughs> but we gotta do that at least once a year. In fact, next year we'll even get more people instead of just you and me. 